I need to work slower and look busy for the boss? You got it. I have always been an incredibly hard and efficient worker. Always getting things done faster than expected and going above and beyond. My program for college required us to go to class for six months of the year and work full-time in our field for the remaining six months. As a freshman in college, I got my first job at an automotive supplier. My first semester was fairly slow, mainly due to the fact that the person who was supposed to train me went on medical leave my first week there and didn't come back for almost a year, and wasn't replaced. However, in my second semester, things really took a turn for the worse. Two key things happened at the start of my next semester. One, I was moved to a new department too, the company began merging with one of their competitors. Now when the company began the merger they decided they were going to move everything at my site to the other company's HQ in another nearby city. The first thing that moved was the vast majority of the equipment my new department used. The upper management made the brilliant decision to leave the four members of my department, one supervisor, one tech, and two students, at the old site until the move was complete. This meant we had essentially nothing we could work on. Here's where we get into the MC. After about two weeks of sitting around, my supervisor, 60 female, finally came up with a small task for me. I completed this in about four hours which I thought was pretty good for something I had never done and had little training on, so I went to let her know. Me, hey super, I'm done. Super, angry and in a panic, done? This was supposed to take you all week. I don't have anything else for you to do now. I need you to look busy in case boss walks by. Next time I give you something to do you need to drag it out longer so that you look busy. Now young naive me was initially confused by getting reprimanded for working too fast but what the boss says goes. A week or so later I was given another task. I was to take thousands of these tiny explosive devices we use and dispose of them by detonating them in a concrete box. They were too volatile to just throw out so they had to be discharged first. Super, and remember take your time and don't go through them too fast. Now this was just busy work to get me out of the way but the great thing with this task was that it had to take place in a back garage that nobody ever went in to avoid the obvious danger of people walking in while I was setting off controlled explosives. I could have easily hooked up 20 of these bad boys at a time and set them off every 5 to 10 minutes, finishing the whole batch in about a week but I had to look busy. So instead I set off about 5 to 10 of these once an hour and spent the rest of the time on my phone playing games, watching Netflix, listening to music, etc while getting paid over double minimum wage at the time. I managed to stretch that project for the remaining two and a half months I was there finishing just in time for the end of the semester. Anytime someone asked me for help on something else I politely told them I would when I was done but it might be a while because Super told me not to go through these too fast. They usually ended up finding some other bored student to help them. I think Super genuinely forgot I worked there by the end because when I stepped into her office my last week to let her know I had finished the task she seemed very surprised and confused to see me. The company ended up paying me over $10,000, a lot of money for a student at the time, just to sit on my phone all day for three months. I sent an email to my supervisor, boss, and HR at the end of the semester letting them know that I would not be returning the next semester. In my best corporate language, I let them know I was leaving to pursue opportunities that would better utilize my time and skills. I found out later when several of us ran into each other at a job fair that all but two of the other students had also quit at the end of the semester out of boredom and or uncertainty that we would even have jobs to come back to. The company did not handle the transition well and could never give us straight answers about where slash when slash if we would be brought back.